In today's video, we're going to be making an XLR connector using this cable. For those of you who don't know, this is the female XLR connector and this is the male XLR connector. Now we're going to be using this cable, it's one meter in length. The red part is the positive terminal, the white is the negative and the, this one is the earth. Now I get this question a lot from customers about if the cable color, does it really matter? They can tell you with experience it does not. It can be any color that is in the rainbow. What you should look for when purchasing a cable is either are the cables soldable. If it's not, it will be very hard to work with and two, are there three inside the cable. Because in cases where you are using an amplifier, a power amplifier, an equalizer or a crossover, all these terminals are important because of, especially the ground, to reduce humming and shocking. Now enough about microphone cables, let's get to work. Now this is uh, the female. Now what, what you should do, you should, what you should notice is, the, these terminals are normally numbered, there's one, two and three. For the, on one, this is where you put the black or the ground. Two is very much important, two is where the red goes. And so, and so it should be also in this part, in the, in the male connector. Where, where you put two here, the same what is, it should correspond here. Where you put one should correspond here and where you put three it should correspond here. Now let's go ahead and solder them and after that we'll test for continuity using this meter to ensure that it works well. Now I'm going to use this glass because these connectors get very hot for the soldering bit. And then as I've told you, let me look for two. Number two, number two. This is number two. Number two, as I've told you, number two is where the red goes. Let me attach a little bit of. We have now finished the whole soldering exercise. Now let's test for continuity to ensure that both all parts of the cable work well. Let's start with three. The top part it works well. Go to two, two. Go to one. Now this means this cable will work very very well in any setting in a crossover amplifier. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and also comment.